Illustrator CS6 has the ability to dock tool panels, uh, the hidden tool panels, these little guys who are hidden that we've always pulled out and left floating around our windows. And I'll get to this in just a second, but I want to share something else first, kind of a little a secret tip, is I was playing around with the, these gradients on paths that we can use a, a gradient on a stroke and playing around with different shapes and wondering, you know, gee whiz, am I gonna, can I find something useful? And while I'm playing around, and isn't that odd, um, I said, ooh, will the gradient tool work on these paths? Oh, that would be so cool. It doesn't work. And the only reason I'm sharing that with you is because now we both know it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull out a couple of our little hidden tools and you know you click and hold and then come out to this little um, bar at the end and when you let go you now have created that floating panel and we've all done this and created our own sets of floating panels which look at that that one docked so now the secrets out of the bag now there is the ability to dock these and I'll pull out one more just so we have one that's much different length and I didn't know that. I've made this video six times and this hasn't done that for me uh, yet. So maybe there's yet another feature in here. So all you do, Illustrator's not keying on the edge of this little floating panel. It's keying on your mouse. When your mouse gets close enough, things snap in there. And then you can go ahead and pull these over and there it is. And snap these into position. And as you saw, you can snap these panels together too. And they don't have to be horizontal. You can also change these to be vertical. And if you don't like um, one of the panels being longer than the others, and you know you want, you're like me, you have OCD, you want this to be nice and neat and proceed up in an orderly fashion, well, you can rearrange that. And of course, you can save your workspaces you customize everything exactly as you like it you save it and I'm just gonna call this temp because I'm gonna throw this away say okay and then when you come back to Illustrator and you're working in essentials and you want to get well excuse me you reset essentials this is also new this was in Photoshop before now Illustrator has it and you reset essentials how you like it and I always do this so I'm gonna reset my essentials layout so it opens up the way I want but look at this temp you have your new workspace right at the top that you can come back to anytime you want how come that doesn't oh because I'm on a laptop and this is truncated and Illustrator says you can't see the ability to toggle between screen modes well yeah but I don't use that I use the letter F because that's a lot easier oh you saw Warcraft back there um, so there you go. There is the ability to um, dock our hidden tool panels, save the workspace, play World of Warcraft while you're making these videos, and um, life is good.